Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey everyone. Hey guys and welcome to Film Arts, your number one source for all things of films and movies. And in today's video, we're going to look at Marvel women performing their own stunts. Brie Larson portrays the lead role in Captain Marvel. That means her character is always part of the action. That leads to a major question for her fans. Did Brie Larson perform her own stunts in the Captain Marvel movie? And I think it was really important for Brie to learn how to fight. By the time we started shooting, I had been training for nine months. And I'm glad that I did. Doing fight sequences up and down and training for three days. Felt kind of alive. The thing that I found so unique about this character was that sense of humor mixed with total capability. Being a co-pilot of an F-16 jet, so what kind of feeling is that? It was cool. It was really special. Um, experiencing 6.5 Gs was really wild and super helpful in the end. Because there's a lot of times where I'm piloting planes in, in the movie and I knew what it was like. I understood that experience, even just what G's feel like. When Brie Larson dons the Captain Marvel costume, she becomes a superhero. And she commands respect with her leadership skills and sheer strength. But how strong is Larson herself? And does she perform her own stunts? Let's find out ahead. And action! Roll. We've always had powerful female characters in our movies, but having Captain Marvel as the title character for the first time feels like it's overdue. seen the test that she's been doing, uh, jumping off the uh, cranes and doing the wire work and learning the combat. Uh, she looks pretty steady and she's pretty brave and pretty committed, so that, that's good. It's the first time I'm seeing her as, as somebody who could be a, uh, you know, like a, somebody who could be the star of a comic book movie. Most people probably wouldn't be surprised to know that Marvel actors have multiple stunt doubles. Working on a Marvel movie is a tough task both mentally and physically, especially for a character as athletic and dynamic as Black Widow. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, like right. that. I was totally out of my element when it came to the physical part of this work. and. Um, for me, I've always, you know, I've, I, I think I was excited to, to do something that was going to be a challenge for me. And, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I'm young and able and, and um, you know, I was certainly more than willing to be a part of the action, so to speak. She had a really good time doing it. Um, unlike some of us uh, older uh, curmudgeons, there's very little you can do to get under her skin. She's just consummately professional. However, Scarlett Johansson had as many as three stunt doubles when she shot Avengers Age of Ultron, at least partly for a big reason she was pregnant at the time she shot it.
actress Elizabeth Olsen suffered a serious bruise on her upper arm after injuring herself in a stunt for the Avengers project. Black Panther actress Lupita Nyong'o, who plays Nakia in the movie, is answering questions about what her experience was like working in the movie. One of the most interesting answers came in response to a question about the stunts that she had to perform in the movie. Based on her description, Nakia sounds even more formidable than what we had originally thought. What was the toughest stunt you had to perform? Oh man, those were quite a few. I had to scissor this guy with my legs, so like basically just jump up and throw my legs forward and, and like wrap my legs around his waist and take him down. That was quite hard to learn. The Nai Gurira, who spent many of her formative years in her parents' home in Africa, did her own stunts in the movie Black Panther. Zoe Saldana's character Gamora is a skilled assassin, so therefore she had to be really good with some intense stunts. Good. It's only because of my athletic background that I can do these films. If I if I didn't have an athletic background, I think it wouldn't be impossible, but if, I feel like it would be a much more difficult than it has been. And all these three characters have demanded di different forms of techniques because Nitir was more animal and feline-like. Um, Aisha, even though she knew her gun, she was very martial artist and she was all about the graceful kicks and the jumps in the air and everything. And Colombiana, she was gacho. Like this, she was raised and trained by her uncle and in the streets of Chicago. So there's not much that she that she um, she didn't know isosceles and, and, and all these all these like terminologies that, that, that people in the military or, or in the cop world they use. I, even though I was trained by people that had military training. It was about an understanding. Alain Figlas, who was the stunt coordinator, designed all the fights in Paris. Is this amazing French stunt coordinator. He trained Matt Damon for The Born Identity. He's one of the pioneers that created that whole martial arts mixture with Krav Maga that we see in all these action like French movies, like MI9 or, or whatever that, that those movies are. Um, that he, he and Olivier were very adamant in terms of that's the style of fighting that they wanted uh, Catalea to have because it was street, it was witty, and it was reflective. It was all about reflecting and, and, um, and Lord was it difficult, but it was exactly what she needed and, and it was fun in the end. Nebula is one of the strongest and fiercest women in Marvel Cinematic Universe and her action scenes in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 bring that point home. However, Karen Gillan once mentioned that she had to walk away from one epic stunt scene. I love working with Zoe Saldana. She's like a big sister to me because every time we're doing a fight sequence and say I'm like strangling her, Choke me. she like positions me so it looks cool.
Camila and Gamora have always had a bit of a turbulent relationship. Ah! Both of them are suffering from pretty severe daddy issues. I will hunt my father like a dog and I will tear him apart slowly. It's a story about sisters and Nebula accepting the fact that she loves her sister and about Gamora learning to love. Karen brought it. I mean, she's an exceptional actress off screen. She's a total goofball. But when she transforms, it's instant. <laughs> it's not ripe. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all really enjoyed this video where you got to see the Marvel women performing their own stunts. If you did enjoy this video, do like, share and comment on this and do not forget to subscribe to Film Artsy. And we will see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then, keep watching Film Artsy. Bye, guys. Yes. I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. like, I don't See you guys. No